Hola, chamas y chamos. Welcome back to Alvaro Dev Labs. Today, I'm really happy to show you the new features available on 3GS version 2 beta. After a full month of hard work checking all the feedback from you, the users that adopted the library at the beginning, also the core team uh, fixing a lot of bugs uh, and changing the way we were uh, rendering the scenes to a view custom render, now we're pretty happy that we have uh, reached the version 2 beta. I'm pretty excited because it, there is a lot of new features. In this video, we're going to cover the migration from the version 1 to the version 2 beta. Also, we're going to check what's new, uh, a little bit of breaking changes, and also some new stuff. For those of you that are not familiar with what Tres yes is, I have some videos in the channel explaining uh, the concepts. But it's basically a custom renderer API to declaratively create 3D scenes using Vue. So um, those are for the version 1. If you are starting, I suggest you to check uh, this video today um, because we are going to cover a little bit of the basics as well. So uh, you can check the previous videos if you have uh, any specific thing that you want to learn. But I suggest you to start with the version 2 directly. Let's wait no more and let's jump to our code. Alrighty, so here I have uh, the starter for 3CS. Uh, until now, I haven't updated to the new version, so I'm taking advantage of this video to actually do it and show you what things have changed and also how to adapt your previous V1 uh, projects with 3CS to the version 2. So uh, it's a bit application that uses view, okay? And the first step that we are going to do, I'm just going to uh, cancel the server for a moment. And I'm going to install 3CS yes Core Beta as well as 3CS yes Cientos Beta. Okay, these are the two main packages that you are going to use. Uh, the Core one is the one with the basic functionality. You can do everything with this one. But if you want a better developer experience, there is the Cientos package that allows you to use a lot of abstractions, composables that will work right away. Okay, so we are going to update those two to the latest beta. Okay, so the latest beta uh, for Cientos is beta.1 and for the core is beta.7. So make sure you're using those in this uh, tutorial because some things might change. Okay, then let's go back to the server. And refresh and you're going to see that it uh, is currently rocking. Right, so we need to do certain things to make it work again. Before continue, I also updated some of the dependency. So uh, tree is on uh, 150.1 because it's the one that uh, has some types. Okay, so this is the latest version of types tree. So we have a, a correct type of support. I also updated TypeScript to the version 5, v2.4.1.4.2.1. And I think that's all, okay? So um, the first thing that we want to change in order to be able to see or have seen again is that before in the version one, we used to install it as a plugin, but that's no longer necessary. You can still do it, but it's not adding any value. So we are gonna remove this part here and this part here, okay? And then we're gonna go to our um, a scene. Okay, so a lot of things changed in the version two. The first thing is that you no longer need tres a scene. So tres a scene is no longer necessarily. You only need the tres canvas. But you can see right now that it's not like it doesn't know what tres canvas is. So to use it, you now need to import it from the Tres GS core. So we are going to do Tres canvas here from Tres GS core. We save and you can see now that the Tres canvas is available and also it's having a correct TypeScript. And if I go to the perspective camera, for example, you can see that now it has TypeScript support with Bollard. That's one of the most requested features that we managed to solve for version 2 beta, which is complete TypeScript support. What does it mean? 
it means that the arguments, for example, the position or um, the arguments that you use at the beginning to initialize, they're all type. So here you can see the position is uh, of type thread vector prop, which can be a vector, an array, or a scalar representing the object local position. If we use look at, it's going to, well, right now it's giving an error, and that's something that we need to fix because uh, the typing uh, underneath is not correct. This is like a function, okay? But it's already working because it's giving us you know, some errors. The ambient light, for example, here, we can see the intensity can be a number or undefined. And also, if we want to check what other stuff it has, you can autocomplete it here with Bowler. So we could set, for example, the color of the dress ambient light to a different color, let's say red, and it's going to work. So this improves a lot the DX experience of the library, and it's something that we will refine and try to make it better because it's, it still has some flaws. But it's way better than before. You can also autocomplete um, whenever you're creating a new mesh, for example, dress mesh here, and then say inside you want a tres, I don't know, torus, not. So right now you have the autocomplete and you can say arcs like this. It's way faster to create this, uh, things inside of the template. Now that we changed those things, let's see if we can make it work. So I'm gonna refresh and it still, it still looks like it's not working. So what we can do is check the depth tools and see what's wrong. So here it can it says the cannot this the the structure property a state of okay on the fine. Cool. So let's check out ah, here. So other breaking change is the orbit controls. So orbit controls needs to always be below and the camera. So the camera needs to be the first component available on the Tres canvas to make it work. So now if I refresh, you can see that now we have a really weird ring because we also added the, the, the torus here, but let's remove the torus. And now we have the scene like we had before. Another important breaking change that the new version 2 introduced is uh, the way we extend um, the initial catalog of 3GS to add new functionality. So in the past we were using a composable called uh, use catalog. This is deprecated, okay? It's no longer used. So if I save this using use catalog, you're gonna check that this is gonna blank because extend and use catalog are no longer there. So what we need to do to migrate is just remove this and extend is a function that is now available on the core. So in this case, we're extending the initial catalog to add this uh, text geometry that is available from the add-ons, from the three uh, add-ons geometry text geometry. And we are extending to be able to use it as any other normal um, component inside of um, Tresies. Also something important uh, is that right now we don't have any way of creating dynamically the types. So whenever you're using extend, is uh, bear in mind that this is not going to have a proper TypeScript. Okay? Another thing that is important in the version 2 is that we improve the way you're getting the reference from models. So here I have a scene with a GLTF model that we're taking from uh, this here. And uh, before we needed to watch for the ref, so we create a template ref here. We pass it to uh, the mesh of the primitive. Also primitive is a new thing uh, that I'm going to talk about after this. So um, you needed to watch it and then deconstruct it uh, to get this uh, method that will return the model. Okay, so it was quite complicated. It was unnecessary. <laughs> so you can see now that in the version 2, um, it says get model is not a function. And that's because we removed it and now you only need this here. Okay. And if you click save and we open again the, if I find it. Here. And we 
refresh the page. Okay, you can see that now the reference is here. You don't need the get model or get texture or all these methods that we needed before. And this is basically because of uh, using a custom render API. You probably notice here that there is a bunch of warnings and that's something that happens since we moved to the custom render API because uh, right now we are using two renders. We're using the core render for view and the dress yes render. So the problem is that uh, since we are using uh, view components inside of the dress canvas and the dress canvas lives in a view app Everything that is inside of the view app, the first render or the view render is not going to uh, recognize. Okay, so that's something that we will need to tweak for now in the compiler because there is no easy way to do it. We cannot select uh, here in the template what type of compiler do we want. To easily fix this, you can go to your bitconfig, okay, and uh, in your view plugin, you can pass options. And one of the options that we're going to pass is template, compiler options, and is custom element. This will tell um, you that, or oh, the main compiler, that it doesn't need to try to solve the perspective camera or any of the components that are inside of the dress canvas. So uh, it will check the tag, and if this one starts with dress, but it's not the dress canvas, and a, or is a primitive, then don't recognize it, okay? So if we refresh, you are gonna see that now the warners are gone. And last but not least, uh, let's talk about primitives. So this I just released like last week. Um, it's available on the core already because we have an issue with uh, the models that uh, they were not able to be modified in terms of position or transforms. And that was something weird because we before it has a uh, trace mesh, okay? And we were doing vbind model. So this was passing every property from the model as a prop, okay? And something happened that, for example, if you have it a trace group on top, okay? And then you put the mesh inside and you were, I don't know, uh, put in a different position, let's say zero dot, minus two dot zero or minus four. Let's put something like that and here too. Okay, and we put like this. If I refresh, you're gonna see that it's in the same position. So it, it haven't modified at all the position of the mesh that is inside. And it's something that we don't want. We want to be able to modify the position. So if you use a primitive, Primitive is a component, is a general component that uh, has one argument, which is the object. And if you pass the object, you need to pass the model, okay? And now if I refresh, you're gonna see that now it's in a different position. So it's been able to be transformed. This primitive right here, will, what basically will do is take whatever is here and convert it into a trace yes component. So you can, use it for this or you can use it for uh, any um, code that you can create here. For example, if you create a mesh that is a new mesh uh, with a new, um, I don't know, sphere uh, geometry like this. And then let's put a new uh, mesh standard material, for example, and we pass, it, we pass it here. We need to import this one here to dress you're gonna see that now it changes to a sphere. So this is gonna render as a component whatever you have here in the object mesh. And this is really powerful, especially for Cientos, because every, try, every time you create an abstraction for something that you want to create, a special material, you can use primitive to extend it. And that, beautiful people, is all for today. I hope you will enjoy this new version of uh, Tres ES. Uh, please bear in mind that this is still in beta, so uh, we need your support, your feedback, uh, your bugs, uh, everything that you encounter that you want to improve in TrustJS is uh, welcome. So please let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or you 
have any issues. I put in the description below all the links for the resources, the new documentation, as well as the update that started. As always, drop a like, subscribe because it helps a lot to my channel. Take care and create more cool stuff with 3D and Vue. Ciao, ciao!